Hi, Trisha here from East Marsh Acres. Um, I'm starting here in the laundry room to tell you about um, our storage of carrots that we did in the summer, uh, or the fall really, and what we're doing, um, I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to process some of the carrots and put into the freezer before they go bad in what, we, what we're storing them in. So here's what we're doing. I've got a um, plastic container and we filled it so I layered carrots down then put some sand down and then I put the carrots in so now I can go through and pull up the carrots you can see that they're still hard they're still moist but not too moist some have de um, disintegrated so those will go into the compost they probably had uh, some kind of damage to them when they're put in or prior to them being put in. But you can see that. Now I've got a whole another one in the in the uh, cold storage room but I wanted to go through this one first um, because um, yeah they're it's gonna freeze in this we're gonna get really high temperatures so I wanted to since this is high halfway done, low temperatures, low temperatures um, um, high numbers in the negatives, let's just say, and uh, so I wanted to do this. So I grabbed some carrots yesterday, and so I take them out of here, then I rinse them and wash them, and then uh, we'll go upstairs, and I'll show you what I do from there. Uh, shall we go to the storage room a second? Just sure. to show where they've been kept. So here's our storage room. In the garage. In the garage. So as you can see, we've got, there's another bucket there of carrots. We've got um, a lot of squashes and some are going um, the way of the compost pile. <laughs> um, but we have been using them and uh, so but maybe we should be getting at those too and, and processing those as well. I've got a whole bunch of pumpkins up there too. This is all my canned um, items. Um, then I've got in here, I've got all the garlic and here's all the onions. So still got lots of onions left. And under here I've got potatoes. And I have to go through those too as well because they are feeling the cold um, as well. Um, and uh, yeah, we have a few cabbages left. So this is an experiment to see um, what's happening. According to the thermometer in here, it's about zero degrees. So it's not, not freezing, it's cold, which is what you want. So we'll have to see over these really cold temperatures that are coming this week, how um, this... What this I could do is actually, put a heater in here, Trish. Yeah, so if it gets too cold then maybe we can put a little bit of a heater in yeah. here so things are not quite freezing in well here. part of part of so. the problem uh, maybe you say a little bit about uh, uh, our struggles um, through the fall and into the winter well with our cold storage here what happened so the quartz cold storage is was built now this wall here and this wall here are the ICF construction so it's very well insulated here but this wall here and that one is not insulated at all and all the way until um, November well early December no, no, late November we finally got garage doors so we had coal there and and we had one spot we had um, plywood um, covering most of the space but one there was one section that wasn't at the end here so then all this cold air was coming in here and so we had some really cold temperatures oh uh, the heat was actually leaving was it able to leave okay so the heat was leaving and replaced with cold air oh well, cold temperatures so. and uh yeah then so we ran into some freezing problems so what happens is that once these freeze then they get soft and then they rot so i'm gonna have to go through here as well so the garage um, has been finished now so uh, we've got plywood throughout the entire garage I, I'll have to do a uh, session on here too because we've uh, just 
had a couple of weeks ago the electrical finished and I just hung our uh, kayaks and brought the uh, the bikes over as well um, it, we've, we've got some work to do uh, in, in the garage itself the garage doors when they finally came in they were insulated um, so we've got two insulated garage doors um, before that those openings were just plywood over top of them so no insulation value whatsoever so uh, whatever the uh, temperatures were outside that's what we had inside um, we still have uh, a little bit of an issue uh, that we'll have to address at some point that, that Trisha was alluding to in that um, the ceiling here uh, above it uh, where we've got all the trusses etc um, is not insulated so um, heat will be able to escape through there and uh, uh, also through the, out, the external walls here. Um, but we're moving in the direction that we wanted to have so uh, we'll, we'll have to figure out uh, uh, what to do with it. Maybe what we should do is have insulation just above in the walls and just above the um, uh, the area here but we might be able to actually get away with just putting a heat source in um, so anything uh, zero and below um, is taken care of anyways so um, Trisha will continue on with this particular video uh, upstairs okay so now we're in our kitchen and um, I am going to process carrots that I did yesterday so I took them out of that box of sand and I started, um, I washed them up, scrubbed them, and now I'm going to process them. So you can see there's maybe a little bit of cracking here, but it's not really affecting um, the carrots too much. They're still hard. Um, some of them are a little bit soft, and, and then they'll just go into the compost uh, pile here. So now I've cut up some into your little uh, coins, and I'm going to had this preheated um, so that is boiling water and once it comes to boil I'll put this in and then I'll boil it for probably about four minutes um, or let it um, blanch for about four minutes and then I'll take them out put them in here and um, to stop the cooking and then I'll rinse them and then I'll bag them um, for the freezer and you think well why can't I do that like just keep on taking them out and that's what I have been doing is taking them out and using them when I need it but I don't want them to degrade any more than they are already now so um, I thought it's best if I just uh, put them in the freezer while they're in better condition and then I can just grab them and go and that saves time for meal prep as well too so just waiting for our water to, to boil. So what I've been doing as well, um, you know we've got chickens now. So um, some of this is going to chickens. Now I'm cutting off the ends. If it's green, the chickens are not getting it. But they can get the ends. And then I'm just... Slicing them into uniform um, widths so that it basically will blanch in a uniform way. Uh, I'm giving them the greens if there's any kind of green growth. Um, ends. So. And the chickens are beginning to pay us back. Yeah, um, we got our first, got first egg, egg. <laughs> from our chickens. So, um, but they're also paying us back in terms of soil. Right. So in our uh, in our high tunnel, they are nicely leaving their their chicken poop all over, <laughs> and we can use that as fertilizer for the uh, for our garden or for the soil that's going to be in that high tunnel. And so you can see, yeah, there's been some degradation here. I'm just going to cut that off. The chickens will 
eat that. So apparently just like, like potatoes, um, carrots that have, they were out of the ground before we um, what, took them out of the ground and then they get sun on them and then they turn green and apparently it, it pr produces a, um, yeah, something that is a little bit toxic to, um, well, to, you shouldn't have it for people either and chickens or whatever so you cut that off and uh, don't eat it. So now I'm going to throw these in here. boil yet. So in our kitchen here we have a, we have gone over to the induction stove so it does kind of it does help with uh, things, things to boil much quicker so you have to I'm going to time four minutes and then we'll take them out. So you know when you're cooking, doing your own food and you've got carrots from your own garden, they just taste so good. And, but they are not your perfect looking carrots. They are all different sizes and shapes and so on. But they are good carrots. So, so you can see there is some, a little bit of degradation in these carrots. Maybe you can say a little bit about why the carrots didn't end up being as long and perhaps and why they're in weird shapes. Well, yeah, I mean, we are just starting our gardens and if you watch my 
previous video on planting my garden, I was saying that we do the lasagna method of building up soil because the soil underneath was not is not very um, great. It's very rocky. There was fill put in and so on. So we decided to build the soil um, from just the the main part and going up. So every year, last two years, we've been building it with manure, compost, straw, and we've been layering it all. So right now, where the, where the carrots are, where anything is growing, there's probably only about maybe six inches of good soil for it to actually go down to um, grow. So that's why our carrots so. are a little fat and stumpy, but they're still carrots and uh, it still works out. So again, they're not perfect, but they will feed our family through the winter. And, uh, and sometimes because they lack room to grow, I don't see any in here, but they twine with each other so you end up with... No, there's not a lot, a lot there. I had one earlier. See this carrot is is, is already kind of mushy mushy in the middle here. So the whole thing I think is gonna go and. When we were picking our carrots, um, we just got our chickens and they were outside and they were in the, um, <coughs> one of the gardens um, before we closed it up for the winter, um, putting straw on and then putting our um, black um, plastic over top um, for the winter. <laughs> when we were picking our carrots, they uh, we were giving them all the tops of the carrots, and they loved the tops of the carrots. So if you can see me just cutting off a little bit of the top, well, that's because they love it. So now I'm going to, my four minutes is up, um, I'm just going to take them and with this nice big scoop that <laughs> is a strainer, so I don't have to reboil the water again for the next a uh, bunch, like I could dump it into the strainer, uh, but I just as easy to keep the water going. Oh, my glasses are steaming up. So some are getting cooked a little bit longer than four minutes because this is taking a little bit. There. Uh, one. Okay, they're all off. And now I will just take it to the sink. We got this great farmhouse sink, very deep. And it's like, yeah, without dividers, so you can do a lot of things in it, nice and deep, and so on. So so this is like giving it kind of a cold bath. So now the carrots are probably about half done. So when you take them out of the freezer, you basically just have to cook you mean them. mean half cooked? They're half cooked. What'd they say? Half baked? Half done. Half done. <laughs> They're half cooked. And um, so what you just have to do right now is... Um, then you just take them out of the freezer, frozen, you can throw them in the microwave for about five minutes or put them in water again and cook them for another few minutes. So, now I'm going to take my plastic bags. Now these are, these are milk bags. Here in Ontario we have our milk in bags and um, so I rinse them out very well 
and dry them and I use them for my my freezer bags because they're very thick bags they're very durable and they're a nice so size for a meal they're a nice size for a meal so as you can see this is probably we've got three of us in the household right now so this is probably a good size for for our house um, and uh, so yeah just Put them in the freezer that way. for about two meals there. They're great for having ready to drop into stews as well. I have taken, when I have wanting to get the carrots done as well too, I have roasted them in the oven with some um, olive oil and some maple syrup and that's really good. So that's different ways to use the carrots. Anyways, I hope this was informed for you and here's some some of our summer produce that I'm putting into the freezer in January <laughs> so um, yeah we're happy about that that we have um, food um, you know don't have to go to the grocery store we've got the food in our freezer and um, yeah we're we're prepared <laughs> so anyways Thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you again next time I've got something that we want to um, share with you about our homestead. Talk to you later. Bye.